my loves welcome back to my channel guys I've been dropping new recipes every day for this past week and I think you guys really need to make sure you subscribe to my channel just in case you're not already because over here it's consistent stuff okay today we're making some red pea soup this is different to stewed peas okay so let me just make sure I put this out here just in case you're thinking this is stew peas no it's not it's just some Caribbean red peas soup okay as always let me give you an ingredient breakdown I've got my sauce I've got my coconut milk I've got my pimento I've got my black pepper I've got my red peas but it's also got a mixture of some rose cocoa beans because the red peas I had was not sufficient so you don't have to mix it up as I've mixed it up but it's just because my red peas were not gonna be enough in here I've got a cup of red peas and half a cup of rose cocoa beans so if you have kidney beans make sure you just use a cup and a half of kidney beans only okay over here I've got one kilogram of salted pigtail I've already boiled this for about half an hour to remove some of the excess salt in there so this is not as salty anymore I've got a medium carrot I've got two scotch bonnet peppers I've got three garlic cloves some spring onions I've got a quarter of a medium onion and I've got two cups of plain flour in here now it's important that I also mention my peas had been soaking for about three to four hours so hence why it's a bit soft let me just take one so you guys can see okay it's starting to open up as you guys can see here and soaking the peas only allows it to have a shorter cooking time and it just helps to open up the beans just a bit okay so after i soaked it for three to four hours i went ahead and just discarded the water okay i discarded the water that the peas were soaking in now something else i must mention just in case i forgot any ingredients i will be leaving it down below in the description box so make sure you check the description box where the full ingredient list will be okay so first things first i'm going in with my peas and i'm just going to be adding it to the pot like so then i'm going to be going in with my pork okay bear in mind my pork has been boiled already to remove the excess salt so make sure you boil it to remove the excess salt okay now I'm gonna go in with some lukewarm water I went ahead and boiled my kettle beforehand as this will really help to speed up the boiling process okay so my heat is on and I'm gonna go ahead and add about four cups of water okay so this is about four cups of water added to my pot okay I'm now gonna go in with just a little bit of um, pimento seeds just a few of them okay see about about six or eight of them and then I'm gonna go in with some of my spring onions not all of it okay some of my spring onions then I'm gonna put in my garlic all right I'm also going to put just a little bit of black pepper to this. So there we have it. Now, because my pigtails already had some salt, I'm not going to be adding in any salt while this boils because the salt from the pigtail will be enough to flavor this dish. Closer to the end, just before I turn it off, I will be checking for salt to see if it needs any, okay? so go ahead and allow this to boil for an hour and like i mentioned because my peas had been soaking for a few hours this should really shorten the cooking time okay so go ahead and put your lid on and put a timer on for one hour guys so just to give you a bit of an update on our pot it's been going for about 45 minutes and my peas are nearly cooked I just checked it but I'm gonna show you guys how it's looking see it's nearly cooked all right so what I'm gonna do I'm now gonna go in with my coconut milk because the peas is cooked about 80% of the way I'm also gonna top up on my seasonings as well so before I do that I'm going in with some of my homemade green seasoning. You guys know that I put this in everything. 
okay this is it here all right then i'm gonna put in my carrots okay this is my carrots going in now the coconut milk that i'm using is this one from lidl and another tip that i need to show you guys before i carry on is to always check the coconut content in the coconut milk that you're using because sometimes you find that you use coconut milk and the content is so very low so this one has about 82 percent coconut as you can see here okay so when buying coconut milk in the future make sure you check the coconut milk content before you buy it okay okay so i added in the whole can and then i'm just gonna stir that up then we're gonna put in our onions now bear in mind my green seasoning has onions but I just like to put in my onions at this point, okay? I'm now gonna go in with both of my scotch bonnet peppers and I'm just gonna give that a good little stir, like so, okay? Now I will be allowing this to boil for at least 15 minutes because as you know, my peas has been boiling for about 45 minutes, okay? So the 15 minutes will allow the coconut milk to cook and hopefully cook my peas the rest of the way. All right? So in the meantime, what I went ahead and do after I added my coconut milk is to make myself a nice dough, okay? Now you guys should know by now how to make a nice dough and this is gonna be for my dumplings, all right? I'm just gonna put this here and just allow it to rest for the 15 minutes that my coconut milk is gonna take to cook so this is my pot after 15 minutes and now we're gonna be making some dumplings okay so all I do is to break off a piece then I just roll it in my fingers like so see that and you're just gonna put it in the pan okay see this Okay, now you can do it in different shapes and sizes that you like, okay, but I like to keep it straightforward, okay? And this will take about, I'd say about 10 minutes to cook, okay? So I'm just going to stir it up now. And as you can see, the soup is nice and thick. Nice and thick. It looks amazing. Now you could choose to add in a little bit more liquid if you don't want it to be so thick. But I'm probably just gonna add maybe one cup more. I'll probably just don't add any. Let me see this piece of pigtail. Gosh, look at that. Look at this beautiful piece of pigtail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys, this one is for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You want this? Oh gosh. And this is so nice and tender. I can already see it. Okay. Now I'm gonna add about a cup more of water to this okay and like I mentioned you don't have to if you don't want to but I find that it was a little too thick for my liking because in 10 minutes time it's gonna reduce even more okay there you go looking beautiful Guys, look at the size of my pot. Oh my goodness. So after I added in all of the dumplings in there, it's basically filled up the pot to the max. I also added some Irish potato in there. 
okay now this is optional but I just like adding some Irish potato in there because this is what my little baby is gonna eat okay and then I also added in some chopped parsley and I'm now going in with my broadleaf thyme okay and the rest of my spring onions okay look at that and don't worry as this cooks it's gonna reduce okay so don't mind that my pot is super full okay guys and there you have it my finished pot look at that and don't mind this is a really big pot of food look at that look at this oh so beautiful so so gorgeous and there you have it my loves my beautiful pot of red bean soup is all ready you see how gorgeous and I did check to see if it needed any salt and it didn't need any because bear in mind my pigtails are salted so it is now time to dish this up gonna turn off my heat okay and this is it my loves so so beautiful and also it's important that I tell you you could try this with smoked turkey or with beef whatever meat you like it doesn't have to be pigtails just to give you a bit of a close-up mm. Time to dish out a bowl of our beautiful soup. Guys, so thick. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay. Put in some more. Okay. Now we want a nice bit of gravy. Okay, and we're topping that off with a nice thick piece of pigtail. See that? All done. Enjoy.